Hey everyone, this is John with the Disaster Nut, and um, I've been doing a lot of uh, research. And uh, some of you might know, um, one thing leads to another when you're doing research, and you can get stuck on topics um, like crazy. Uh, but I do um, enjoy all the uh, private messages, and once again, all the new subscribers uh, that I'm getting on this channel. And uh, one of you asked me. <clears throat> What was the, well, we did talk about the earthquakes going on uh, today. What was the uh, most deadliest earthquake um, in recorded history? Um, that one actually took place in uh, central China in a province called uh, Shenzhen or Shenzhen. I, I, I'm not Chinese, so I, I can't pronounce that. So if I butcher that, I apologize. But uh, that, that killed about, uh, that almost killed a, a million people. Uh, I think estimates were like 830,000 people died and that took place in uh, January, what, January 23rd uh, 1556 I believe um, I might have to google that but if I was correct on that then that's that's <clears throat> me uh, in my stupid brain uh, sometimes when I do research I, uh, I absorb so much information and I can remember dates in history uh, but I can't remember my own birthday uh, and I <laughs> I have to write down my anniversaries uh, so that I don't forget them in a calendar then at the same time I remember all kinds of stupid things like uh, the Wallingford uh, tornado of uh, 1878 uh, that happened in Connecticut and things like that uh, or that on uh, what is it January January uh, 19th um, 1919, um, a vat of molasses, uh, collapsed and it, um, <laughs> uh, this was in Boston and it killed 21 people. Uh, I don't know why I remember that kind of stuff, but I do. But, I, you know, I'll, I'll go and, I'll, you, I'll, I'll, when I do my historical stuff, I'll go into that stuff, uh, these two disasters too. Uh, a little preview there for you. But, like I said, yeah, the, uh, the, Earthquake in China call uh, in 1556 killed 830,000 people. That that number is so huge you can't you can hardly grasp it. Uh, the reason why so many died uh, was because um, a lot of them uh, actually lived in uh, uh, they had carved out um, uh, caves into soft rock and they were living in in the, these caves and uh, also I think building construction in 15. In 1556 uh, uh, probably wasn't uh, the best um, and they don't have the uh, the standards that they have today um, but that was a huge earthquake and it caused landslides, liquefaction, sand blows and all kinds of uh, seism seismological activities uh, but it's a fascinating thing and, and uh, unfortunately I don't think that too many records exist about this disaster um, and it was in 1556, so there's like no, probably no photographs or anything like that. I don't know if there might be some paintings or something that somebody did. Um, and if there are, uh, please post a video response or, or send me a private message, because I love to see those kinds of things. Because I like to look at uh, old drawings and, and photographs of things. Um, well, obviously I can't no photographs back then, but drawings of uh, disasters and sometimes people uh, uh, before photographs they were drawing and, and did all kinds of things like that and it's really fun to look that kind of stuff that stuff can look up that kind of stuff <coughs> sorry I can't uh, talk today um, but that earthquake yeah that was that was felt like 500 miles away in the, in the nine different provinces of China so it's kind of neat um, and uh, it was kind of like, uh, I think it was like located uh, around here in this area here, Shenzhen. And uh, that's where it occurred. And in case anybody was wondering who actually reads an atlas, I actually read atlases because I find it uh, fascinating in learning all about different places. And especially when they have all these other, you know, um, annotations and things. I love reading that stuff. Love collecting knowledge. Uh, I'm such a loser, I even read the dictionary. 
uh, looking up new words and as you can see it's not doing me very good uh, because I'm not using big words which I think is pretty good because I hate it when somebody uses fancy words and then you have to go and look up that word in the dictionary um, and it just kind of cuts down on the uh, conversation especially with the academics or lawyers they use fancy words and you're like oh well I gotta go look that word up I have no idea what you're talking about um, but like I said research leads to uh, other things so when somebody asked me about the deadliest earthquake that happened in China um, I obviously had to look up uh, the amount of disasters in China and uh, got this from CCTV which is Chinese uh, news agency or television and uh, so last year um, according to Chinese authorities uh, in 2009 uh, there were 1,528 people killed or missing in China which when you consider the size and the population of China 1,528 people dying from natural disasters uh, out of a population of a billion people that's that's very low uh, I mean fires in the United States uh, killed twice as many people so um, very interesting and it cost uh, um, 252 billion uh, yuan or I, I, I don't know what the currency is in, in uh, China but that's 37 billion US dollars in economic losses according to the Minister of, of uh, Civil Affairs and uh, they said that 90 percent of the deaths uh, and missing were caused by flood or wind hail uh, in 2009 and uh, here, here's a big thing. Uh, you know when we have um, evacuations in the United States and things like that, uh, usually it's like a couple of hundred people or something like that, or even a couple of thousand. Very rarely do we get up to a million people needing to be evacuated. Uh, but <laughs> natural disasters in China cause 7.1 million people to evacuate. Uh, and uh, a total of 480 million people in China were affected by natural disasters. That's more than the whole United States being affected by natural disasters. That's a huge number. And disasters, especially drought, snow, and freezing uh, weather, swept a total of 47.2 million hectares of farmland. Okay, nearly 5 million hectares had no harvest in 2009. Uh, yet there was no famine and uh, nine typhoons and tropical storms landed on the Chinese mainland and uh, heavy snow also hit northern China in November causing large-scale traffic disruption you might have seen that on TV plane delays and evacuation of 160,000 stranded people uh, earthquakes ice storms heat plague of insects were uh, other major disasters according to the Ministry of Civil Affairs so that was just a little update on China and a demonstration of how uh, research leads to uh, more research and more useless facts for you to fill your brain up with. And uh, <clears throat> I thank you for watching and you know just another warning that I will be filling your minds with useless disaster facts in the future so if you don't like you can unsubscribe. If you do like it uh, then thank you for watching and uh, continue to send me private messages uh, and, and uh, I will hopefully be able to answer them.